A lot of us was absolutely broke during team of the year. So we could not get George Bestie better than the resty on our RTG account. But today I'm here to save y'all, man. Today there is a card that dropped that is better than George Bestie, better than the resty. Might be the best card in FC24, let me show you. But this is exactly what my team looks like right now. My team is amazing, bro. I've back, I dropped back to back 20s pretty much with this team right here, bro. It's been an absolute a great experience. Kubo's been amazing for me. Alexia's been out of this world outstanding. Standing. Like she is wild at the striker position. As you guys can see, her stats are incredible. Alexia is wild. This whole team is amazing. Now, there was a right winger that I needed during team of the year, but your boy just didn't have the fodder, the money, or the facilities to make it happen. So George Besty, better than the rest he is in a lot of people's teams because he's one of the best right wingers in the game right now. His left stick is crazy. His shot is crazy. Um, some people love him. Some people hate him. Uh, to be honest with you, when I play with him on a big account, I kind of hate him. Uh, but he's still the like one of the best of the best if you don't have him. Bappe playing the wing. So for me right now, I got Milan on the right and Kubo on the left. Matter of fact, let me show you. Let me stop talking. Let me show you how my team looks with these two players in my starting 11. When I'm in the 4 one 3 2 and we're about to jump into some weekend leagues so I can show you the amazing card I'm talking about. As you guys can see, Kubo plays the left-hand side for me and Milan plays the right-hand side for me. And I love Kubo, right? Kubo's amazing, but there's a big problem. The reason I love Kubo is because his Travella is out of this world. Like his Travella is crazy, crazy, crazy Travella. Now, the thing about Kubo is his Travella is amazing, lads, but he doesn't have the Travella trait. Now, I don't know if you guys know or you're not informed with what EA Sports is doing, but guess what? EA Sports is back at it again, doing things that we pretty much hate. So there is going to be a patch in a couple of days that is going to nerf Travellas. Don't ask me why. Two things I thought shouldn't have been, uh, been nerfed this year was Finesse's and Travellas. The reason for that is, is because when someone is playing Park the Bus on you, uh, you should be able to score from far away to make them have to push out, right? Because it's very hard to make people push out when they're playing sweaty formations and playing like five back and stuff. So the finesse shot, green finesse from outside the side and Travella outside the box and Travella from outside the box um, really help you break down people that are sweaty, okay? And just sweaty defensively. But they're nerfing both of those. They nerfed Finesse a couple months ago and now they're going to nerf Travellas. Travellas are not going to be in FC24 anymore. I don't know how bad they're going to nerf them, but they are nerfing them. So Kubo doesn't have a Travella trait and he's amazing with the Travella, but now without the trait plus them doing the nerf, I'm never going to be able to hit Travella with him. So I had to find someone that could replace this card as quickly as possible because I know the patch is coming. Also, by the way, they're going to nerf cutbacks, which I'm okay with. The problem is the way they're cu nerfing cutbacks is supposedly beefing AI defending. So they're going to they're gonna buff AI defending EA Sports to, to nerf cutbacks. And I do think cutbacks need to be nerfed. When people run up the wing like that and do a cutback every single time, that should be nerfed. But I don't know if you should buff AI defending to nerf it. That's crazy. So now we're getting AI buffing on defense. They're nerfing Travella for offenses. And there's nothing happening for offense. So just everything is negative stuff for offenses, positive thing for defenses. And nothing's happening offensively. This game is going to be a mission to score a goal, I'm afraid. Anyways, lads, um, Kubo is officially no longer part of the team. Now, one of my favorite cards, as I told you guys, Vinny's not going to start, Smith's not going to start. The card that is taking Kubo's position is... I mean, we need to talk, man. We really need to talk about this. Wow, that's crazy. I mean, that is literally crazy ladies and gentlemen athena the real madrid stud this might be the most broken the best free card we have ever seen not in fc24 but in fifas ladies and gentlemen you get a 5-3 player which stinks right because that's small you, you you don't like that but on the wing it doesn't really matter I ran Rodman on the wing. I ran Alexia on the wing on my big account. Uh, on this account, I run Alexia Striker. Now, she's kind of big. Henson runs the wing for me. Bacha is one of the best left backs in the game, and she's small. The height doesn't matter on the wings, in my opinion, especially going forward. Five-star skiller, five-star weak foot. This is a free card that you can Evo for free, completely free, lads. Completely free. Completely free. The only thing that stinks... And EA could have done better about Athena 
is power headering doesn't really matter in my opinion uh for someone that's 5'3 although she has 97 jumping so she will win you some headers but i'm never crossing the ball to her and then acrobat like i'm never crossing the ball to her but she has the technical which i love she has the first touch which i love she has the trickster which i love um and then she has the chip shot which is an important trait as well if you can get her one-on-one -on -one. so her traits aren't the best in the world but they are still good traits besides the gold ones but everything else is crazy now you might look at that agility and balance and go well skills that agility and balance is pretty bad when you have 82 83 but 53 it's good you get what i'm saying like when you're 53 82 83 is not bad lads i promise you that uh when you're hot when you're tall when you're six foot six one with 81 82 83 we have a problem this girl can left stick all right this girl can r1 all right she has a great shot on the right foot she is everything that i needed going into the patch i am excited for the patch i used athena multiple times already this weekend uh, this this uh this, this fc24 to get her chemistry on like certain players like when i was using Aitana uh, 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 and stuff like that so i've used uh, 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 athena but now Athena comes into my team as a 90 overall. Now, once you look at my team, Athena is one under Alexia, matches Bacha, better than VVD's gold card, like she, better than Milan, who I paid for. This free card comes in as a 90 rated card, better than Vinicius Jr., better than Smith, better than Kubo, better than Havertz rating, the same as Aitana's I, 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 rating, uh, better than Neymar's rating, better than Sterling's rating. Like this card is stupidly crazy, crazy, crazy card for free, bro. Um, so how do I run her? I run her in the 4-3-2-1, excuse me, 4-3-2, yeah, 4-3-2-1, excuse me. Um, I put her on the left wing, Malin on the right wing, Sawa at the cam position or center mid, and Alexia and Azebu. Like I said, I've been going 20-0 with this team. The only difference is now I take out Kubo, I bring in Athena, and she is just going to dominate the wing for me. I am going to use her the way people use George Best. R1 down the wing, R1 down the wing, cross it in, pass it in, pass it to Alexia, let Alexia shoot, stuff like that, bro. I just abuse the wing with her. She's 5'3". She's stupid fast. She is crazy with the R1. I really, really like her. Anyways, let me put some gameplay up on the screen with us playing with Athena in the weekend league. Let's get some weekend league games in. And then I want to talk to you guys about some SBCs that are dropping and uh, maybe even open up some of my safe packs. I got like 30 packs saved up that I've just been accumulating through objectives, all right? Let's jump into some weekend league. So game one on the RTG with our brand new future star baby we get matched up just crazy crazy team icons in every single position i mean that is a wicked wicked team to get matched up against in your first game of the weekend league are you kidding me i can't really find much room through the middle against this guy's formation but wait i got alexia and alexia scores she does not miss though she's been my favorite pickup bro this year 100 percent like off the market this card i mean maybe vvd but Alexia is the type of player, lads, I'm not going to lie to you, that when you get an opportunity with her, she will not miss, bro. She will not miss a chance for you, bro. It is crazy how amazing her finishing is. She, This guy's in the 4-2-4. This formation is really, really annoying to play against because those front four put so much pressure on you at the very top. But, dude, uh, we're able to score early because Alexia's finishing. But these are the type of games, right? Oh, he's bringing a dingo. These are the type of games where, like, if you don't score early and you give your opponent a lot of time then all of a sudden the game becomes extremely difficult for you but when you have someone with alexia or like i'm trying to say here's like that's why having someone with alexia's finishing in front of goal is so freaking important because yo she finishes absolutely everything she don't miss often and, and, and you get lucky because you get that early advantage and then you put your your opponent on the back foot athena there it is oh you gotta be kidding can i get malin what a ball by the way and it falls to him I stay with it. I give it to Big Azebu and the Portuguese man. Yes, sir, baby. Big Azebu doing Azebu type things. Meu Portuguese, meu rei, meu benfiquista. It's in there too now, baby. Come on now. Come on, Alexia. I don't really got much else here, though. Hey, I need help. Nice, Malin. Azebu. Shoot it, shoot it. Bang. Let's go, baby. That is going to be a rage quit right there for sure. I think he's out of here. What a layoff from Malin to my boy Azebu. And Azebu is going to tuck that one into the back of the net. Maybe it's not a rage quit. It is a rage quit. It's what we forced, man. He's out of here at 3-0. What a turn of events if you ask me. We get him out of here easy peasy. And we win our first game of the weekend league, which... We've gone back to back undefeated 19 and uh, 20 and O's with the rank ones. Can we keep that vibe going on the RTG? Let's see what our opponent is working with in game number two. He got a Zebu and Maldini and oh, he has that new future star card. 
and and a red Ginola. Wow, and Afonso Davies. This game should be a difficult one. Vamos, we gotta do something special here. Who got me back post? I see you. It's my boy. It's my boy. It's my boy. It's my boy, VVD. It's my boy, VVD. In there like swimwear. Vamos. Got to get that out, man. Got to get that out. Got to get that out. Nice cutback. Oh, that's a good layoff. He missed. Whoa, I just got bailed out by EA Sports. Wow, I just got bailed out by EA Sports. This is Sawa. I'm going to go straight to Azebu. Gets by the future star defender. The young German man can't cover the legend Azebu. And Azebu is going to make it 2-0 after my opponent just missed an easy sitter. We take the lead by two. And we're cooking now for sure. Look at her cook Kafu one time. The R1 is crazy. Here she goes. I was going to go right past the keeper. I had no sweaty cutback. I was going to do the... I was going to go right past the keeper. I ain't even going to lie to you. Here's Malin. I thought about it. Bacha. I got nothing. Do I whip across? Nah, not feeling the whipped cross. Sawa, Malin, nowhere to go. Go to Athena, she's on it, she shoots. Ah, another corner. Alexia, let me ball roll, let me hit that Chervella. What a save. Chervellas are getting nerfed, by the way. They are nerfing Chervellas in the next patch. We get a rage quit, baby. Let's go, 2 deal with the weekend league. Does her opponent have a crazy team? Yep, 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 yep. That is a first owned center back. Renair, I think her name is. She is very, very, very good. That is a center back I was hoping I didn't see. We got an opening because he pushes R1 the whole game. We give this one to Conte. We go to Alexia. She shoots. She scores. A much needed goal. He's just holding R1, lads. That second man press. Players are running all over the place. Let's go. That's the quickest rage quit ever, bro. Wow. Okay. That, that ain't anybody agree about it here. Uh, we're going to go to 3 0, man, just like that. But, dude. People that just hold second man press like that, I don't think they understand that's not what the button's intended for. People just feel like they just hold that thing the whole time and they're gonna get the ball back consistently. Nah, bro, that's that's meant to like put your player, like trap a player, like, yeah, I, I don't know. People use it crazy, man. Maybe help you in the box a little bit. Anyways, we were able to get by that. We are three and oh. Flying through champs, man, three and oh. I mean, there's so many amazing things to say about this unbelievable 90 rated card i just unlocked another objective lads i do have a lot of packs right now i get rosetsky who i'll probably just completely lob into an sbc i'm gonna be honest with you don't think i'm gonna be using him on the rtg because i have saw one conte already and i just don't really see a position for him because he's more of a midfielder you can't play him on the wing um he likes cam right mid center mid but again 85 pace probably not making my wing four star four star not taking sawa spot so that's going directly into an sbc i just don't know what sbc yet but eventually into an sbc i have been stacking on packs bro i just keep getting more packs and here's another thing that y'all are gonna laugh at but i got another one i keep getting these and i'm not using them i'm not using them lads i don't know who to make red i can't make alexia red because she's sellable i can't make vvd red because he's sellable uh, I could turn uh, Athena red, who we just picked up, but I don't know if I should do that. I'm be real with you. I don't know because her card looks sick. That the, the, the future star card looks nice. Um, so I realistically don't know who the heck to do um, for foot champs. I literally had one last weekend. I got two. Look, I got two lads. One, they both go away in 31 days. I don't know what the hell to do. I literally don't know what the hell to do. Who the hell would y'all Evo? Uh, I could make Ali Sun red, but that blue card is nice. Maybe Bacha could make Bacha red. Sawa's card is sick. I could make Maldini red. Maldini red would look okay, I think. Maybe make Malin red. Ma Malin. I was going to make Alexia red, but she's still sellable, man. So I could sell her eventually. Even if I get like 100K, I could still sell her if I ever pack her. So I don't want to do that. I don't want to make Conte red. That card looks pretty good. Sawa looks good. Maybe Carlos Alberto and, Ma and, and Maldini, but the Icon card's not bad. I don't want to do Ali Sun. VVD's tradable. Maybe I should make him red because he ain't ever going nowhere. It's tough, man. I do not know who to make red. Let me know who y'all think I should make red. But guys, if you haven't already, man, you need to jump on this, man. You need to jump on this card. Anyways, let's look at some SBCs that came out. 3-0 in the weekend league, trying to go another 20-0. Not going to touch this here. Uh, I could if I... Nah, I'm not going to touch that. This card actually looked okay, lads. I'm going to be honest with you. High, medium, four-star, five-star. The problem is, for me, in my opinion, I don't know how you guys feel. I got Conte and Sawa. I just don't have no room in my midfield, bro. I don't have any room in my midfield. And and as a left winger, you're never going to make the wing position over Malin or Athena with, with 86 pace. So that's not going to work out for me, unfortunately. Carlos Tevez is a cool card, but... 
Again, to play beside a Zebu, I would have to Alexi, I feel like it's just better. I mean, I could try him, but five star skills, four star weak foot's a cool card. Price tag's kind of crazy. I looked at this new Shevchenko. I did, I'm not gonna lie. Four star, four star. All right, four star, four star with the high high. Um, he has 91 pace, 92 shooting. That's not bad for a big body. Here's the problem. They gave him power shot, which for me is just the play style that I won't touch. I will not rock with. I will not get behind this play style for me. Uh, I know it's a skill issue, but when I hold the R1, L1 to do this shot, I, I end up taking out the corner flag. I cannot do it. It's awful. Uh, finesse would have been cool, but they kind of patched that a little bit. I mean, you can still shoot them in the box, but I don't really shoot that much. Love technical, love uh, rapid. First touch is kind of nice because you can put the ping pass right into him if you use like um, Alexia, uh, Athena, I mean, uh, 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 Aitana, and, and, and you use the two, team of the series just ping pass, or, or Bruno, I think, has it. If you if you are one passing to them, they'll always just control it correctly. Also, quick step, which is nice, and Travella. Like, he has all of the right ones. Power shot's annoying, but the rest of them, all the right ones, bro. Like, honestly, maybe if they would have given like a gold battery, I would have been like, yo, let's ride. But this is a nice car. Like, play styles on this are not bad, yo. But what puts me off about it is again as a big body guy at six foot with 83 agility 82 agility i know his left stick is gonna be stinky so that's the only reason i'm staying away from that i got the base icon is it icon icon here that i could rock with um to try to make the team a little better you got 87 86 86 but the only thing that you can get in here is what dingo thunderstruck you hopefully dingo um yeah probably dingo is probably the only one that i would want uh to play the wing so like I said, lads, it's becoming tough. This card here, I, I, I've played against it a lot, you know? Like, a lot. I'm not even trolling. Four Star, Four Star, I played him a lot in the weekend league um, recently. Uh, or, or qualifiers, I mean. And uh, it looks like a nice card. Quick step. It looks like a really, really pace-abusing winger, to be honest with you. Like one of those um, Simon cards, you know? Uh, but, lads, besides that, SBC's kind of been weak lately. I'm going to be real with you. Um, kind of really weak, if I'm being honest. Uh, I don't know what EA's plan is here, but the content's been uh, been stale. These were great content, got great content from Team of the Year, but they were hell of expensive. Um, but since Team of the Year, I feel like the content's been, I don't know, I don't know how y'all feel, but I feel like it's kind of been a little bit dead. Uh, Future Star, got to build this one out. Daily, daily Future Star, we'll do that. And then, like I said, guys, I do have a lot of packs in the RTG, so maybe the 25 packs, maybe I can make the RTG a little bit better with some packs. Uh, I doubt it, honestly. Um, but you never really know. Um, hopefully, hopefully it makes it a little bit better, but I doubt it fully. The packs are kind of trash as well. I do have like one good pack and it's like an 84. I don't even know if it's a good pack. 84-4. Um, also, I have an ultimate. You know what? Let's open the ultimate back together. Let's see, man. Will we get a future star? For ultimate packs are so stinky. Told you. They are so stinky, bro. So stinky. It's going to be Bruno. That's 88 rated card. Um, no double walkout. Would have loved an Mbappe on the RTG. So, lads. The RTG finally gets an upgrade. Of course, bro. Of course. Please tell me Bruno is... See? Now I got to find an SBC, bro. Nah, man. Of course that was going to happen. I knew that was going to happen. Why wouldn't that happen to me? All right, lads. I got to find somewhere to put Bruno. 88 rated card. Um, I got to find somewhere to put him, lads. And there's no SBC I really want to do. Is the exchange still around or nah? Uh, or they got rid of it. They get rid of the exchanges. It looks like they did. Um, man, that's so annoying, bro. Did they get rid of them? I think they got rid of them, lads. They might have got rid of them. Um, yeah, man. Finally, the RTG gets an upgrade, man. And it came in the way of a free card, which is amazing. So for all my homies, like I said, that missed out on George Bestie better than the resty, it is time, man. It's time for you to go get your George Bestie. It's time for you to finally get yourself a crazy winger. Five star, five star, high, low, five, three. Yes, she's small, but she's on the wing. That doesn't matter, bro. Um, she is an absolute stud of a card. By far the best free card we've ever seen in FC24. Probably the best free card we've ever seen in FIFA. In FIFA's, bro. Like, this is crazy. Five star, five star with those stats is absolutely incredible, man. I hope you guys enjoyed today's RTG, man. If you did, make sure to smash that big old thumbs up. As always, I am going to attempt to drop another 20 and 0 for you, for the lads, man, on the RTG and hopefully get some good rewards for us, man. You know, that's, so that's a tricky one. Um, but hopefully, man, 97, 97 jumping on her, by the way. That's actually wild. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, lads. I appreciate y'all, and I will catch you guys in the next RTG episode. Thank y'all for watching. I love y'all. See you soon. Oh, yeah.